The NAU football team won their first game of the year last Saturday, beating SF Austin 34-28. Sports reporter Cody Cameron went to talk to some of the players and coaches about the highlights of the game, as well as an upcoming preview of this Saturday's home game. The NEU football team had an impressive victory last Saturday against SF Austin that featured an offense that had 547 total yards. I talked to coach Jerome Sowers about his team's performance as well as the connection between quarterback Case Cookus and wide receiver Emmanuel Butler. I thought that our guys you know, really picked things up. When it came time to perform with the lights on, they answered. Uh, it was really good to see our quarterback play, I thought. Uh, uh, he really managed the game well. I thought our players supported him well. We had good protection, ran the ball well. Uh, there was about you know, a lot of things to build on. Case has a good rapport with all of his receivers, and I want to say that all of them are capable of that kind of thing, but that was a pretty special night. And uh, uh, Emmanuel, is a, he's a fine young man. He's a hard worker, and he's working on his game. And to see him put up those kind of numbers as a sophomore was pretty incredible. All-American cornerback Marcus Alford, who led the defense with eight tackles and an interception, talks about the defensive performance as well as this week's game. Coach, coach challenged me, you know, being an older guy, to come out, come out strong, come out and make some plays, and to play hard. You know what I mean? And um, as the game went on, I kind of started to get more and more of a feel for what they were trying to do. You know what I mean? And I was really good with my eyes, and so um, that led to my pass breakup and my interception. And those tackles came from just flying around the field. It's like another year, like a tradition here in Northern Arizona. Our DBs. Um, tend to do good year in and year out. Um, Wes Sutton was the other corner on the other side. That was his first game starting it. He held it down, gave up no big plays. Uh, they tried him deep uh, a couple times. He did He did good on that, was in perfect position. Um, Eddie, of course, always does his job. Uh, hopefully we can get this dome filled. Hopefully it can be um, sold out. Uh, we're not taking them lightly at all. Last year, as you saw, they put a couple points on us, you know what I mean? They got some real good players on their team. So we're preparing for this game the same as we did last week and the same as we will in the future. We're not um, looking past this at all. Now the Lumberjacks will host New Mexico Highlands right here in the Sky Dome Saturday at 4 p.m. And of course, students will get in for free. With NAZ Today, I'm Cody Cameron.